Hello guys and uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. Today I want to do a short little mod that's related to the Immersion RC Rapid Fire Video Receiver module. And if you didn't know by now, they have uh, two batches of uh, modules, uh, batch number one and batch number two. And as they said uh, on the batch two, there were some hardware changes and they released a document where they explain how can you get the modules in batch one on par with the batch two hardware mods. And they actually said that this little cap here, which is a 0402 size capacitor, needs to be changed from uh, 1 microfarad to 10 nanofarads and they also suggest using hot tweezers because uh, these parts here are very very tiny so if you use a hot air gun to work here there is a possibility to mess up uh, things around but um, I will use hot air gun for this mod. For that I will use some copper tape to cover all the little uh, parts. I will take tiny strips of copper um, tape and place them around the component we need to change. And that's obviously from uh, protecting the um, more sensitive parts there. And one more for good measure. I managed to apply this copper tape to try and protect the parts that are close. And now I will come and hold the cap with my tweezers. So we took it out and if I am about to measure this cap right now, it's indeed one microfarad. Now I will take a little bit of flux and place it there, taking my uh, cap. And I managed to align it pretty decent. Now we will wait a bit and after that uh, remove the tape, clean the area and we are done. And I will not recommend using um, the iron to do this job because uh, most definitely it will uh, mess things up. Now I will easily remove this tape. So uh, 
No other parts were damaged in the process. The only thing left to do is just uh, take some uh, ear sticks with some uh, alcohol and clean the area where we worked to replace that cap. Okay, so uh, the tape actually did two things. One was uh, protecting this area for excessive heat. And secondly, if the PCB and part would reach reflow temperature, it will kind of hold these parts down and not move them because of the air pressure. So yeah, every time you do this kind of work where a lot of tiny parts are present use some uh, captain tape or um, copper tape like uh, I used I don't know if this um, change will improve my performance because for me the compatibility was not an issue my cameras uh, worked just fine with uh, the batch one but uh, if some of you guys have uh, troubles this is what you can do to bring the batch one on par with uh, the batch two thank you very much again for watching and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell and uh, see you next time. Bye.